being brutally kicked down an escalator inside a Brooklyn subway station. It happened just after 7 o'clock Thursday night at the Atlantic Avenue Barclay Center station in Borham Hill. Sources say the 32-year-old victim told the suspect he should say, excuse me, after he passed her. Well, that's apparently when he turned around and kicked her in the chest. The woman suffered cuts and bruises to her body and hurt her ankle, but refused medical attention at the scene. Police are still searching for the suspect. She's on for the gunman who shot and killed a pregnant mother as she headed home from her own baby shower this morning in Harlem. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal spoke to the victim's grieving family. A celebration turned into heartbreak for a Harlem family. The pain was visible. She was nine months pregnant. Shanice Young, a mother just weeks away from giving birth, was shot in the head in front of her building on West 128th Street. Shanice was a victim. Shanice did not have four children. Shanice had two daughters, and the third one died with her. Just after 1 a.m., Shanice was returning from her baby shower. She was taking the gifts into her building lobby when police say a fight broke out between two men. Neighbors say one of the men was Shanice's ex, the other the father of her unborn child. Two women killed today in Metro Atlanta parks. Police in both cases are still searching for the killers. The first happening in Midtown's Piedmont Park. And tonight, Atlanta police are offering a $10,000 reward who killed Katie Janice and her dog as they walked in the park. 530, a deadly and brazen shooting in Brooklyn. A woman is wanted for gunning another woman down at point blank range. Welcome back. I'm Dick Brennan. And I'm Christine Johnson. The shooting happened outside a Brooklyn apartment building. Police say the woman just walked up and then opened fire, and now they need to find her. CBS 2's Dave Carlin talked with the victim's mother. And this is a shocking one. This is a shocking one. This young mother killed in an exchange of gunfire as deputies were serving a search warrant at a home in Camden County. Investigators say the woman was 37-year-old LaToya James. And her cousin, 46-year-old Varshawn Brown, was also shot and is in the hospital right now. This doesn't make sense, Janice. That is exactly what they're saying. We know that the two individuals are related. They're, in fact, cousins. The family says despite the information released today from GBI, they have more questions. This family is trying to figure out how their loved one, 37-year-old LaToya Denise James, was shot and killed during a drug-related search warrant. Telling a developing story out of West Harris County where a woman was gunned down after pulling into her garage. The latest on the search for the suspect who fired 50 shots. And Harris County detectives say the woman was shot multiple times at her home on Apple Tree Hill Lane near Barker's Forest Lane. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers has been following this story for us. She joins us live from the neighborhood with what investigators are sharing about the story here. Brittany, good morning. And good morning. Just a tragic case. And deputies are telling us at this point they don't know what led up to the shooting. But as you mentioned, they say that woman was pulling into her driveway here when a gunman fired more than 50 I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Racha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you other brethren, you followers of the truth, you few sisters, and let me say shalom to the elect. Uh, I want to go on this video here, <clears throat> and this is where my spirit has been going lately because these um, articles, I see a lot of these news stories popping up often, and even a few clips that I put in, um, one was just September 13th. That was just a couple of days ago, right? And the other one was last week, and the other one was a month ago. So um, the Lord is following through on judgment, okay? So I'm going to have to, you know, when it comes to these type videos, I'll just try to keep it spiritual and edifying. Um, there's a scripture that says... Um, uh, rise up I think Isaiah 32 rise up ye women at our ease right um, we see these things happening <clears throat> now what I want to go into because I remember being a young man they always told me um, basically you know what I'm saying to keep my hand to myself don't put your hand on Eve right <clears throat> okay don't um, don't um, <clears throat> you know assault her you know don't assault Eve right and um, but I remember that nobody never told 
uh, Eve not to do the same thing. And I, I never understood that. You know, it wasn't until I got older and I realized it was all the, the you know, the, you know, it was all planned, so to speak. Seems like this was all set up to usher in uh, the Queen of Heaven, right? Which has been happening for years. So then you have, no matter what thugs and what thugs were back in the day, they was always in the fact of protecting Eve. You know, she went off, you talked about their mother, or this or that. But um, now you can see that it's not going nowhere, okay? You can see that Jake is not in that spirit of uh, bowing down to that to that degree, let me say that. Some Jakes anyway. Because whenever something happens to Eve, everybody rouses up, everybody is, is amplified. Like it's not supposed to happen to them, like they're not supposed to uh, get involved in crime. Crime is not supposed to happen to them. Like you, you're hanging with thugs, you're gang banging with thugs. You, you learn from thugs. And I put the clip in there where the Eve shot the other Eve. Walked into a shot her. Where'd she get that from? It's crazy because they used a weaker vessel uh, as a tool um, for excuses. Right? They use that as a tool for excuses of why they are behaving that way and why they could do what they want to do. But meanwhile, they're given all the resources and lifted up. And then when it comes to the men, right? They're looked at as trash. Now, to prove that, uh, uh, when, when I went into the clip with the guy kicking the person down the escalator, right? I don't know if it was Eve. I don't know who it was. But he kicked her down the escalator. But nobody, I looked at the comments, nobody looked and said, well, what transpired out of that? What happened? I think she said, uh, you, you, you have to say excuse me. But then... You see the smartness and the remarks and how Eve, I'm just speaking of Eve, you know what I mean when I say Eve, the proudness. You see this when you go into the stores, you see this when you go into the establishment, looking down on you like you're the crumb of the earth. And I know brothers go through it, I know brothers see it. Not just brothers, but men in general. They all see this. That proudness, okay? Um... Let me get a scripture real quick before I continue. Um, it says Proverbs 21 and 4. <clears throat> Hardy, it says, um, a high look, which goes to a hearty look, and a proud heart, <clears throat> which is goes to the spirit, which are eyes, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. <clears throat> okay, so I went to the precept. It says the fit Proverbs 8 13, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate, right, so this is why the Most High is bringing judgment, right, we, let, let me go here real quick, First Peter, I had that lined up, First Peter 4, 17, for the time has come, right, that judgment must begin with the house of God, Yahweh, and if it first began at us, right, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? So if it first began with the men uh, who are doing, trying to be righteous, what is it to, what's going to happen to the ones that don't follow the voice of the Heavenly Father? Right? So I just thought this video, you know, I, you know, was interesting to go into this video because you see this happening an awful lot. I couldn't even get all the clips and then there's and the reason why it inspired me to do the video because there's an Eve who's doing a video and all she do is shows how men are killing the women. That's her whole video. That's a whole channel uh, to show the uh, the uh, the sickness of men. Let me say that how they're thinking, or um, to show how uh, men are uh, violent. And, uh, and mainly so-called black men. So this all feeds into the hatred towards men. When they don't understand the root of the problem, where it's coming from, and who's following into it. No, Eve don't know what it means to be uh, 
you know, Eve, let me say that, she don't know. The, the, the actions, I'd imagine that woman on the escalator, what else was said? You know, the news only cover what they see and uh, what makes a great story, okay? So I had a comment that was interesting is why I, I even um, went to this video. Uh, this guy or a woman, her name Denise Michael, Michael Denise, I don't know. He said the other person didn't help, meaning when she fell on the escalator, nobody stepped in to help. Well, you know, you don't see nobody stepping to help. Remember, this is all equal now. You know, when you have the accident or you have a flat tire, you have to now deal with it. You subscribe to it, you deal with it. You wanted to remove the uh, the uh, chivalry of men out of the way, the love and affection that men are supposed to have. But then you look at society and then you look at the inequality, right, or inequality, and you look at what's happening with these athletes, they get married, they have, they, they bust their ass to make all this money, and it was just another brother shared with me, another uh, NBA athlete is on the brink of divorce. 16 years and she don't want to deal with it no more. Now everything's wicked now that he retired. So you see, Jake is getting fed up and Jake is starting to see because now when you go in these establishments, who do you think working in there? Go into the medical field. Who works in there? Guarantee you it's 98% Eve and 1% Jake. If that. Now if it was reverse, society would have a fit and say, well, wait a minute. It's not, a, it's not equality. It's not equal. We deserve equal rights. So now they surpass the equality. Now what? You're going to see the Most High is going to start bringing judgment, right? Uh, Amos 3 and 6, the trump, if a trumpet is blown in the city, will not the people tremble? If the calamity occurs in the city, has not the Lord done it? Let me see, I was wrong. Shall there, shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? With a question mark, right? So let's go to Matthew um, 24 and 12. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, where iniquity, other translation says lawlessness, okay? And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So this is crazy, and this is what I really wanted to talk about, the fact that through the society that uphold the queen of heaven, right? They uphold the queen of heaven, meaning... The society funds the Queen of Heaven. The BLM is funded as well. And all things, all those factions on TV, movies, um, entertainment is all funded. Who do you think funds it? These elites who would never let these people, let me say that, of the other gender, rule the world. But they do it as a, an establishment to weaken uh, men. Right? That's the best way I could put it. So they fund it, right? And then the people who are left out when things go wrong and it goes haywire and starts fighting back against the tyranny and inconsistencies and the wickedness, then the media jumps in, as you see, and they make full blown coverages and they're shaking their head, this is sad. But meanwhile, Jake is blowing themselves away. Right? Jake is blowing himself away. Jake is homeless. Jake is drug addicted. Jake is all messed up. There's no outcry for that. But you see the interviews of, of Eve and them coming up there and when this happens to them, then it's a problem. Anyway, the comment goes on to say, um, what does it say? America is going to the dumps fast. Right? Because nobody would step up to help got news for you this place was started from the dumps and everything that was built under it was falsehoods and lies okay even including this queen of heaven spirit and this is why you see judgment from the Lord in general okay anyway I don't want to say 
have much else to say on that. That's all I have on that. Shalom.